It's always really interesting to hear what the transformation has been like for these horses from racehorse to a champion at the makeover. So can you tell us a little bit about your horse and the transformation that he's made under your guidance? Um, I guess I would love to take the credit, but she's actually just a really amazing horse. And uh, she was a little naughty for the first, uh, give me a okay. uh, like probably six to eight weeks of her life. Um, and then just for fun one day, I thought it'd be funny to see what she did over a jump. And I, she's been perfect ever since. Um, she absolutely loves her job and she loves her life. And yeah, she's one of those horses I think you would even pick out if you put a brand on it. I don't think you'd know she was a thoroughbred. So she's just a really neat horse and I couldn't be happier to have her in my life. Uh, she's very special and she comes from very wonderful people who trusted me to do right by her, and that meant quite a lot. So, yeah, that's a, a little bit about her, I guess. <laughs> that's Fleet Stepper and, and Hillary Irwin, the winners in eventing, and now the show jumper winners. Christina Aaron is here aboard Raise Em Up. Yeah, so we bought Rue off the track in December last year, and I actually bought him as a resale project, sold him in the first 24 hours to his current owner because he was just that special. And she blessed me with the opportunity to ride him uh, and to compete him here and hopefully keep him in training for a long, long time. He's just been a special boy from day one. He always gives everything he has. He's done a dressage, eventing, show jumping. He hacks out with his owner on trails. I mean, he's just an all-around fabulous boy and we're really blessed to have had him fall into our laps and be able to keep training him. All right, next up I'm standing here with Icarius and Alexandra Beckstead and for those of you who are here in the TCA Covered Arena, if you've seen Off Track Thoroughbred Magazine this weekend, uh, Alexandra is the managing editor of Off Track Thoroughbred Magazine who's worked so hard for us over the years and tried her hand at competing this boys. year. Thank Congratulations. Thank Tell us a little bit about this guy. He really is. He's... So this is Icarius. We call him Zion around the barn. Um, he's been such a special horse to work with. I got him from his breeders at Glencrest Farm, and he showed a natural penchant for the hunter ring from day one with his movement and his very, very slow way of going. Um, I think that he just epitomizes the class and the intelligence that these horses have and he's caused me to break my own rule that all my horses are for sale and he is definitely not for sale. So I hope he can be an ambassador for the thoroughbred and the hunter ring going forward. Uh, yeah, no, you're good. And next we have the winner of the Field Hunters. I'm a big fan of this good looking gray for the greater good. And let's hear from his rider, Laura Sloan. Hi, um, I work for a wonderful family and who had a place in Southern Pines, North Carolina, and also Millbrook, New York. And we hunted both places. Um, last year, the, my boss, um, who had been a master of hounds for 40 years, he, he passed away in last December in, from pancreatic cancer. And his wife of 61 years said on the day he died, go get a horse. So I did. And this horse was bred and raised and raced by um, a wonderful lady in Maryland, uh, Donna Lockhart. And so he hasn't been passed around or anything. And when he, she decided to retire him, she sent him to a friend of mine. And I was looking on Facebook for, and I said, this is what I want. And my friend called me up and said, I think I have what you've got. So anyways, this is, he's, he's done well. Thank you. And next up, we've got Alia Dwyer with Kubo Cat. They were our 2021 dressage champions. Tell us a little bit about the process with this guy. Uh, well, I uh, acquired him not long after I had my baby. I sold my 2019 champion when I was like 40 weeks pregnant. And when the time I got back on my feet, I didn't have a horse and I was driving my husband and everyone that knew me crazy because I had nothing to put my energy towards. So I just scoured the internet and called a lot of people and looked at a lot of horses virtually. And when I saw one picture of this horse, my gut just said, 
that's a really nice horse. And he was actually here in Kentucky, but I was in Maryland. And I sent a good friend of mine, Jen O'Neill, a local trainer, to go put her eyes on him. And she said, he's really nice. If you don't take him, I will. And that was all I needed to hear. So I put him on a trailer and sent him to Maryland. And he did come with his set of challenges, but I'm thankful to my husband who put those first few rides on him to kind of find um, the path that we needed to take. And uh, we took it really, really slow in the beginning with those challenges. Um, and eventually I just sat up and I said, oh, he's a, a normal horse now. I can ride him like I should be riding him, and like anyone can ride him. And that was a great day. And we were able to really start progressing from there. And uh, we made it to just a couple dressage shows before coming, so I was very happy. <laughs> He's a good boy. And now our polo winner, Ben Lynch, with the former Godolphin horse Ramses, and I bet blue is your color, Godolphin blue, and Kentucky Wildcat blue too. Yes, definitely. Blue's a big part of my life, and I work at Godolphin Stoner Side Farm, so it's where he was born. Uh, he was born prior to me starting there, but everyone there knew him and knew he was always kind of small and then I was looking for a horse out of college just a little project and I mentioned to the uh, girls in the racing office that if there's anything any anything small let me know and he came available and he's been pretty easy and quiet since since the day I got him so he's been pretty pretty easy to make so far so I'm pretty pleased and I am here with our 2021 freestyle winner Tell us a little bit about the process you took with this guy. He's stunning. Thank you. Uh, I think he's stunning as well. He uh, came to me, his owner, Kira Funk, in uh, Manitoba, Canada. Got him through a rehoming organization at Assiniboia Downs called um, Final Furlong. Al is a California bred fella, and he's a goofy, playful, kind of a fun guy we like to say he's a little bit derpy even though he's totally handsome and i've just really enjoyed um having him since december and working on sort of ranch work kind of things and natural horsemanship liberty stuff thank you and now we have our barrel racing champion the very fast tip top diva I actually found Tip Top Diva on Facebook. A friend of mine had bought her off the track and was rehoming her. And what drew me to her was her looks. She has a very quarter horsey type look. And I was like, oh, I'm going to breed this thing. And then I realized, oh, she doesn't have a record. So I thought it would be best if I tried to restart her and ride her and get a little bit of record on her. And she really took to the barrels really easily. She's just been a joy, pleasant, nice horse to ride. And she's, she's a saint. She's everything that a chestnut thoroughbred mare isn't supposed to be. <laughs> She's my little sea biscuit, as I call her, the little horse that could. All right, thank you. And now I am here with our big, stout, competitive trail champion. This guy is not small. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, so this horse, um, he's 16'2", and he's not your typical horse you see in Western attire. So I honestly had no hope of competing this year. I had tried and tried to find my small ranch horse to bring and just wasn't having any luck. So I made a post the day before registration closed that I needed a horse. And so I got him the day of registration close for the makeover. So this guy here has only had 60 days under saddle, so he has just absolutely blown me away with his brain and just how trainable he is. And he goes to show that the big horses can make it in ranch and the Western attire. And we finished up the day with Murray Triantafilo winning ranch work aboard War Candy. And we were so impressed by how you sorted the cows in the pen and you looked so happy after that so tell us about your relationship with this special young horse this is a really cool horse we do have a very special relationship i actually got candy from my best friend's mom who's also here competing she's a homebred and raised and she raced in california she's born and raised in kentucky but she's a homebred so i have photos of her when she was a baby 
so it's been a really cool process to train Candy. She's the bravest horse I've ever ridden. She's the first thoroughbred I've ever worked with. Uh, anything I, I put her into, she just goes right into it. I've literally crossed rivers and climbed mountains on this horse, so she's going to go home with me to the farm, and I'll probably let my husband ride her. <laughs> I've been hogging her this whole year, so <laughs> I think he's pretty excited. But she's just a really cool, cool horse. I'm really lucky to be her jockey. Thank you, Murray. And let's have you head over there so we can get a really amazing picture with all 10 discipline winners. This is really an incredible lineup of horses we have here. I mean, top to bottom, front to back. They're all athletes in different ways. And we always talk about with the Retired Racehorse Project, we talk about how these horses are purpose-bred to be athletes. And just because the, their athleticism didn't make them a champion on the track doesn't mean they can't express itself in a variety of different ways. And we see that variety right here. It's a really impressive lineup we've got. I'm just taking a photo of all of you because I'm very, <laughs> very impressed. All right, last chance to get your votes in. And we will first crown the People's Choice Award winner sponsored by Achieve Equine. And the winner will have the chance to make a $2,500 donation to the charity of their choice. And we have voting closed now, is that correct? All right, voting is closed. Do you guys want to know who the winner is? I do. All right, I will tell you that the People's Choice Award winner sponsored by Achieve Equine is the winner of the Show Hunter Discipline, Icarius and Alexandra Beckstack. Congratulations. I know you all like this horse, so let's hear your appreciation for Icarius and Alexandra Beckstedt, the winner of the People's Choice Award, sponsored by Achieve Equine. One more award to give out, and it is the Thoroughbred Makeover Champion Award. Thank you to Churchill Downs for sponsoring the prize, and for all of the horses and riders that competed, Thoroughbred Charities of America, for being the title sponsor of the Retired Racehorse Project Mega Makeover. For the class of 2021, the Retired Racehorse Project Thoroughbred Makeover Champion is the winner from the Field Hunter Discipline for the Greater Good and Laura Sloan. Oh, that's so impressive. Congratulations. And we'll, do we have uh, Aaron here and, yep. And we have Kathy here, for, so Aaron Crady from TCA. We have Kathy from Churchill Downs. Good boy. So yesterday for the class of 2020, we had Thunderous Affair and Lindsay Partridge, and now another gray, the class of 2021, for the greater good, and Laura Sloan. <laughs> oh 
All right. So I will treat you. I'd love to know before I take your victory gallop, tell us a little bit about what this means to you after all the work you've put into him and all the other horses you've brought along. It means a lot. I mean, it just, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm just so, my, the lady I work for is just so awesome and I just, I'm so glad that I can do this for her. So, and for us. And for more county hounds. Woohoo! <laughs> Well, we're going to get this cooler on her so she can take her victory gallop. And I want to also congratulate all of our champions today. You guys did an incredibly impressive job making this transformation from racehorse to show horse. And we are so proud and thankful for all of the work you guys do. And the impact that you will all have will go well beyond this weekend. So thank you for all you're doing for all thoroughbred racehorses. And now let's see what thoroughbreds do best. Go running around and showing us their athleticism. And you're all welcome to join Lauren for the greater good because you are all winners. Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations to all of you who have been part of this. Jen, any final messages about something that we've been waiting a couple of years to do, and I think we all did it very, very well. Yes, this was a tiring week, but a very fun week, and an incredibly, like I said before, an incredibly impressive week to see what all of these people accomplished with very unique challenges over the last year and a half with the pandemic. So thank you. Thank you. And so um, if people want to apply to be in next year's makeover, we'll do it again next year. And so they can watch our website. Those applications open up at the end of this year. They can apply to take on the challenge of retraining a retired racehorse. We'd love to have them. We want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors too. We could not have put this on without the support of our sponsors and our volunteers. So thank you to them as well. It's been, it's been a week, but it's been probably one of my favorite weeks ever. It, it, it is these horses that have brought us all together. I've already heard people who are looking for their 2022 thoroughbred makeover horse. So it's not just about this week, it's about the whole year and please take all of the great memories that you had celebrate them take them back home and continue to do all the great work that you're doing for off the track thoroughbreds so let's do it again next year yes see you in one year good night everybody